Okay, guys, we're about to start. Uh, before we start, I would like to clarify something that apparently has apparently gone on. I had no idea it was going on. As usual, I'm always out of the loop of everything, right? And then I find out after the fact, and I'm like, what? Like, what happened? Um, so I'm actually going to make a brief video about it right now, just to explain. And then we're going to go into Baldur's Gate 3, okay? So I'm going to do this real fast because I had no intention of doing this. But being that apparently there's some nonsense uh, going on, I just like to, to clarify the air because some people have been asking me on stream about this for the last couple of days. Uh, and I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know anything that's going on, all right? <clears throat> so I'll do it quick. We'll do like a five, ten minute video quick and then we'll jump into Baldur's Gate, okay? <clears throat> all right, here we go. Okay, everyone, hello. Phil here, making an impromptu video. Wasn't planning on doing this today, but I guess some stuff is going on either behind the scenes or publicly. I have no clue. As you know, I don't get wrapped up in drama. I try to stay out of it as much as I can, okay? But there's a situation going on right now, and I just want to clarify it from my perspective. All right, take that as you will. Um, so over the weekend, uh, I had someone come on my streams. Their name was One's Two Cents, and... You know, they were very supportive. They contributed to one of my streams. And behind the scenes, they shot me an email. And they said, I like how you handled the situation with Rich and Jay, his editor. All right? Now, for those who don't know, I don't know anything about this. I don't follow the real situation. For what I'm to understand, I guess Rich, Review Tech USA, had an editor who he paid to do a lot of work for him. And I guess they're having some kind of a dispute where he got fired and he thinks that Rich owes him money. I have no clue. Okay, I really don't, I don't pay attention to any of this. I don't care about the drama of others, all right? But someone had asked me a week or two ago about it on stream, and I said, you want to know my honest answer? I don't care. I don't care if Rich is having some kind of a falling out with his viewership and audience, and now they don't like him because they think he did something bad. In truth, my here's my rationale and thought when it comes to this kind of stuff, all right? I wish everyone the best. I want everyone to be happy, and I feel like if everyone was doing well and was happy, no one would be nasty to each other in life or on the internet or anything, right? Like if everything was going good and everyone had a good lot, good stuff going on, why are you gonna go after someone else, right? Because for me, when I'm happy and things are going well, I only think about enjoying that. I don't think about, oh, let's go attack someone else and have a bad time. And maybe you're someone like Rich, the fact that he makes content that's derogatory to others, you know, gossip shit. Maybe that's why he does it, I don't know. Maybe he's just unhappy in his own life, who knows, right? But. I'm not involved in any of this shit because people were like, well, are you happy that things are falling apart for Rich? And I answered, no, I'm not happy that things are falling apart for Rich. I don't care about it particularly. But at the same time, just because there's someone who I feel has done me wrong in my life, I don't wish them hurt. I don't wish them discomfort or pain. I would just, I wish everyone could be happy and just get along in their own lanes or whatever and not bother each other, right? That's my perspective, okay? People are saying, oh, the game music is playing while I do this. We should just leave the game music playing. I'm gonna leave the game music playing while I do this. Why not? The epic Baldur's Gate music in the background as I make this video. This is pretty funny, huh? All right. So anyway, that's all I had to say. I wish I wish Rich, Rich well. I hope that whatever happens, you know, I don't wish him poorly. Just because personally, this guy has had is having negative stuff going to going on for him. I don't. I'm not happy for that. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even want to be involved. I don't care. I, I just want everyone to be happy, right? So I guess some people like that response. They thought, oh, Phil will be reveling that because someone who's made fun of him for years would be in a miserable position and he's not doing that. And they respected that. And I think Ones to Sense was one of those people. And so he contacted me over the weekend and said, would you be interested in having like a chill stream with Jay? I guess Jay is the former editor of Rich because he's a really down to earth guy. He's a nice guy and he's expressed interest in you and maybe talking with you. And I don't know Jay, well, I don't know anything about him at all. I've never had a conversation with him. I've never heard him speak, nothing. I know nothing about him. And so I got this email, I said, all right. So I went on Twitter and I realized I had Jay blocked. Now probably it's because during the years that he worked for Rich, him and Rich have done derogatory tweets and things about me. So probably that's what it was. And I probably just blocked it to stop nonsense on my timeline. So I unblocked him and I sent him a DM and I was like, hey, so I've heard that, you know, you're interested in maybe having a chill stream or something. You know, we can talk about that. I, my, my perspective is if we do it, we shouldn't even bring up Rich at all. It should just be a stream where we just talk and hang out or whatever, right? And so he responded back and he's like, 
well, that sounds good. You know, my perspective is I, I want to have positive fun with games. Maybe we could just have a stream where we just talk about whatever we're doing, what we do, and stuff like that. And we went back and forth for a couple days now, like once a day. Like, it'll be night, and I'm going to sleep, and I, I'm checking all my stuff. Like, oh, yeah, let me see if he sent me a DM, and I'll check. And it'll be like, oh, okay, uh, you know, he, he responded. Let me respond back. We've been going back and forth for like a few days on it, okay? Um, where we had left it was... Jay said that he wanted to have a, 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 you know, a chill stream, but he wanted to talk behind the scenes first. Like, maybe let's have a one-to-one -one conversation before we agree to a stream. Let's just have a conversation about it. Personally, off, you know, offline, not public. I was like, okay, how do you want to have it? You know, we can talk on the phone, or, you know, we can try to figure a video chat or whatever. I can do it maybe after my late stream or whatever. Like, that's literally it. And that's where we left it. And that, I actually responded to him last night with that, Okay. So come to find out, people are telling me now, oh, are you aware that he's talking shit about you on his Twitter? Oh, I don't pay attention. I don't know what's going on. So I just went to his Twitter, and, and he literally just said on his Twitter, oh, you see, Phil is Phil, and he's never going to have a serious conversation, and he was, he's not interested in a real interview, and therefore I'm not interested in doing it, even if it gets 100,000 views. And I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? When did we say this? Right? Like, what? I We were having a behind-the-scenes conversation in DMs on Twitter about having a chill stream, possibly, and the next step was to have, like, an offline conversation, not public, about the specifics of how we could do it and what we would talk about, and it wouldn't even involve Rich. It wouldn't be a drama conversation. Okay? On his timeline on his Twitter, he's literally saying... I'm gonna... I can read it right now. I just posted it up, by the way, on my Twitter timeline. Uh, the DSP thing was something I wanted to do because he reached out to me and that never happens. I thought we'd get a little more insight into Phil if he opened up. However, he obviously only wants to do a fluff interview despite Rich, which I find funny for someone saying they don't want to get involved in drama. At this point, I don't think we will ever get any truth from him, but I tried. What? Yes, everyone was right. Phil is Phil. We'll never talk about anything serious. What are you talking about? Like, literally, what the hell are you talking about? I have no clue. That's not what what we were even talking about. So it sounds to me, I hate to say it, it sounds to me this guy is a snake. He was trying to bait me into some kind of a, a conversation. Then, and then eventually he was going to talk about personal shit or whatever, right? Exactly. Is it even the same person I'm talking to? It's on the same Twitter account. The DMs are attached to the same account where he's posting. This sounds to me like this guy's either, like, bipolar, is two, he's two personalities, or I'm talking to two different people on the same Twitter account, or I don't get it, all right? But just so you guys know, uh, I have no I have no interest in doing that. He said, if you, someone told me he's a chill, down-to-earth guy, he'd like to have a chill stream with you just to talk about games or whatever. That's what I proposed. He said, yeah, that's what I would like to do. Let's have an offline conversation about it. Okay, how do you want to do it? And then I find out he's posting that up on his Twitter timeline. Get a life. No, really. Jay, get a life. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what you're trying to bait me into. I'm not doing nothing. Get the fuck out of here. All right? That's the God's honest truth of what's going on, and I'm not involved with it anymore. Obviously, I'm not going to talk to the guy again. Fuck him. In fact, you know what? <laughs> I should have known better. Correct? Here we go. And let's go right ahead and go ahead and block him again. You're blocked. Now I don't have to deal with it anymore. Now he can't DM me. And now I can move on with my fucking life, right? Okay, great. Excellent. Thanks for uh, for listening to this bullshit video that I had to make to clear it up. And now I can move on with my life and not have to worry about nonsense anymore. Thanks for listening. Okay. Alright, that was a good one. And it had Baldur's Gate music, epic Baldur's Gate music in the background. Cool. Alright. That's funny because I didn't know what it... I have no idea what that sounded like. I'll upload that video later. Again, I don't know nothing about that Jay guy. I, I, mean, I was told by this once to sense guy that he was a down to earth guy who actually had talked about interest about like just having a discussion with me hanging out. And I was like, okay, I'm old. Why wouldn't I want to do that? Why wouldn't I want to just hang out with someone for, you know, maybe a half an hour, jump on a stream or whatever and just say, hey, what's going on or whatever, right? Sure, why not? And then apparently he's saying nasty shit about me on his Twitter. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with people? I agree that was bizarre. It was fucking weird as shit. You tell me where that came from. I, uh... 
That's, and the thing is, it has nothing to do with me. Like, I, they're trying to, I guess they're trying to pull me into their vortex of drama or something. I want nothing to do with it. Okay. I received a $3 tip. Hey, Phil, would you ever consider wearing tank tops or wife beaters during summer playthroughs while you play gangster games? It would look cool combining that with your hats and glasses. Uh, probably not. Not my style. <laughs> I don't think tank tops and wife beaters is something, uh, that I would wear, so... Okay, thank you for the three dollar tip. <clears throat> All right, are we ready to begin now with Baldur's Gate? Now that that nonsense is out of the way, and that'll be a separate video I upload later. Woohoo! Okay. The blimp says you're too nice to people. You give them the benefit of the doubt. People don't deserve it. You got your audience, your channel, and your life outside the internet. Screw them. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was trying to be nice. Someone tells me, hey, someone, someone's interested in talking with you. They just want to have a chill conversation. I have a DM conversation with the guy on Twitter. Literally, that's what the conversation says. Oh, okay, let's talk more about it. Oh, then he goes on Twitter and shits on me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Really? What the fuck is your problem, dude? <clears throat> Weird people, man. All right, anyway, let me untangle this and, uh, and then we'll get started. My wire is way tangled here. There we go, that's a little better. I wanted a little bit more looseness in the cable and now I've got it, okay. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. 